Good morning, good morning guys. Yes indeed it is a good morning. Of course. It's a nice sunny day. What more do you ask for, right? We just picked up our empty trailer here at the yard. We got lucky. Yesterday they didn't have any empties. Otherwise we would have probably uh, gone to the area yesterday. <coughs> to where we uh, pick up our trailer. Our loaded trailer that is. And they didn't have any empties yesterday and so uh, they went here this morning and uh, there was a guy just dropping an empty there so <clears throat> I got pretty lucky there that was the only empty that was in the yard yes indeed so now we're gonna make our way towards our uh, pickup it's supposed to be just a trailer switch over there anyway so we have till 11 o'clock till we can uh, pick that up and it's only 9 o'clock right now so so yeah we got some time yet it's only 45 minute drive up there <laughs> and then we'll be over there at our uh, pickup place yeah I'm happy I am really happy we got to eat master steak yesterday again and had me a good night's sleep I actually laid down yesterday afternoon already for a little nap and then we got up around 8 o'clock at night and did a little bit more video editing and then uh, went back to sleep <laughs> yeah so we had a really good night's sleep but yeah looks like it's gonna be another nice sunny day out here for, for sure today it looks like but yeah, today is Friday, I believe so. Yeah, it's Friday. So, let's see how bad our traffic is going to be out of Toronto today. And yeah, hopefully we can get our border crossing set up ASAP as soon as we pick up our trailer. So that way we can get across the border. That's right. And then... Uh, can make our way towards Arkansas that's right so let's go ahead and do all of that goodies all of them goodies and then we'll uh, show you guys what we can as we usually do well guys we've been sitting here at this customer now for over two hours now when we're actually sitting in a dock normally we just drop our trailer over there and over there they usually have our loaded trailer sitting and uh, that was not the case today so I went inside and I asked them what's going on and they said they're waiting on something or whatever and it was going to be half an hour and now it's been two hours and I went back inside and I asked him and now he's saying oh the head office has got to send them labels and this and that and that's what they're waiting on and all that stuff so in the meantime I went and I cleaned the truck on the inside tried anyways as good as I possibly could I wiped off the dashboard I hadn't really done that so that's looking nice and shiny now look at that steering wheel how nice and uh, shiny that is now but yeah now I'm starting to get uh, aggravated you know now I'm starting to get to the point where I want to get out of here you know I was kind of hoping I could get some big miles in today and tomorrow and then do a reset on mon on Sunday and that ain't gonna happen now because uh, I'm gonna have to drive a little bit on Sunday in order to uh, get to the delivery place for Monday in the morning to do my delivery because we got an appointment over there so so yeah I'm all a little caught up with uh, rendering videos and all that good stuff so uh, so yeah I can't really do any of that so so yeah here we are just sitting and doing nothing waiting for the load all right guys we have finally gotten loaded it only took four hours supposed to be a pre-loaded trailer not a load loaded there I wasn't supposed to have to wait there to get loaded but hey that's the way it goes sometimes yeah oh well now we're finally loaded and out of there so now we have to take a little different route than we came in because uh, the road that we kind of came in was actually closed so I had to kind of go on some residential roads I didn't really like that so uh, I asked the uh, shipper there on which way would be the best way and 
they kind of told me a little bit which way to go so here we are we're on it now so we're gonna go to uh, I think to Woodstock and then uh, I think we'll go down there to the TA and we'll scale this load make sure we're legal yes indeed and then we'll uh, continue on with our journey if uh, we are legal, you know. Yeah, first we gotta get through this city area, I guess you could say. Not really downtown right now, but you know, a little bit of city. Yep, that's right, and it's starting to drizzle now. I don't know why it's doing that. Not much of clouds out there. I mean, there is a few clouds, but nothing much out there. All right, let's leave them wipers on then if we constantly got the drizzle going on. So at least you guys can see through the windshield, right? That's the plan anyways. All right, I have to come to a stop here. Yeah, we made it. There we go. So, I guess we'll talk with you guys in a few. We'll go scale our load and do all those goodies. Alright guys, we were here at this Fly and J, or we went over to this Fly and J, I guess meters. I should say. Turn right on Cedar Creek Road, yeah. R97. Went and scaled my load and we are totally fine. Cost me 17 bucks up here in Canada to scale a load. But you know what? It's worth every penny. Especially if I was all of a sudden to be overweight. It's definitely worth that 17 bucks instead of getting a two, three, four, five hundred dollar fine at the scale, right? That's right. That's the way I look at it anyways. And then we went inside and took us a shower and uh, here we are. Gonna go back on the road and <clears throat> had us a bite to eat. All that good stuff. It rained here earlier just before I got here. Well, as you saw in my previous clip, it started drizzling and and then uh, before I got here, it coming down pretty good there for a little bit. That's right. But anyways, we're gonna get back onto the uh, highway. We already got a message from dispatch saying the border crossing is good to go. So that didn't take very long today. So I'm happy about that. Yes, I am. Very human and hot over here though. But we got AC and that's the main part, right? We did a lot of things today. We cleaned our truck, we ate, we had a shower, we scaled, we got our load. In one kilometer, it's a busy the day. to the left on Highway 401 West, Compton, yeah. McDonald Cartier Freeway. Sure is, but it feels great to have the truck nice and clean again. I haven't had the, have, I haven't had the truck this clean like the way I've had it right now in a good while, so it was time to get her clean, you know? Now I gotta figure out on how I get back onto the highway. I guess it wouldn't be this light because I can't turn left here, right? Maybe at one point it looks like you could, but not anymore, eh? No, In 500 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 401 West, London. All right, RJ, you just Cartier go ahead and well. tell them, all right? All right, we'll listen to you and see what if you wanna take us to the right destination, right? Looks like it's starting to drizzle again. I don't know where it's coming from. We got nice and sunny over here. Or at least somewhat of a sunshine. So, let's go make our way down to the 401. And I don't know, is that guy not allowed to go? Or, or what? I guess he forgot it was green light. I guess so. <laughs> I have no idea. Because I sure didn't have a single light here saying that I can go because it does have one up there, but it, 
sure it wasn't blinking so it was solid green obviously for him as well he stopped <laughs> oh well that happens sometimes people not paying attention we noticed the other day or somebody on uh, on my channel noticed the other day uh, last week when I had my son with me when I was going to that Petro truck stop up there I believe it was in was it Ohio I think it was Ohio on I-75 there <clears throat> somebody noticed that a blue car was going right through the through the red light I never even noticed it until uh, that person mentioned it on my comment <laughs> That was pretty funny. I had to go back in there and watch it myself. I didn't realize that I, that, that had happened, Continue you know? on this road for 83 kilometers. But that does happen occasionally and you'd be surprised on what you capture on video when you have your camera on, you know? You capture all kinds of things. Like I did a couple of days ago, you probably saw my video where uh, I had a guy that had a bit of a road rage attitude there, you know. I'm telling you, you know, like it's not all these four-wheelers. It's even big trucks sometimes they got an attitude, some of these drivers. And I think it's not really the old guys. I think it's more of the newcomers. Sometimes these newcomers, they still have the mentality of a four-wheeler. And, and then they drive the big truck like a four-wheeler and that's not good. Yeah, I saw what he was doing and I may, may as well explain it again a little bit on what he was doing was uh, there were signs for miles that uh, left lane was closed and there was a bit of a backup so we all came to a, you know, to a stop and he decided to get out of the right lane and get in the left lane and try and get in front of everybody so uh, so then I saw that what he, what he was doing so you know I was, you know, my, I didn't have enough space between me and another four-wheeler there to uh, let him hit, let him in. So then he was trying to push his way, and he was jerking with his steering wheel, trying to cause an accident there, you know, just just so he could get in the lane. And I, of course, didn't move. So then he had no choice but to get behind me, and then he was pissed off because I didn't let him in. So that's why you saw that clip there couple of days ago where he got in front of me and then he slammed on his brakes as hard as he could I think from the looks of it he even laid some black rubber on the road luckily I knew what he was probably going to do so I had backed her off a little bit on the as soon as he got beside me I slowed her down because I kind of figured he was either going to cut me off like really close to me like cut me off or he was going to uh, do that kind of stuff now, I've seen that before you know it's sad to see but and he's one of those guys that makes truckers look bad out here you know those are the type of people that make the rest of us all look bad you know and they got a few of those type of people out there you know they, just, they got an attitude like that I think he just about lost his load there. And I was looking at it there when the uh, first rest area came up. He actually pulled into the rest area because uh, almost all of his straps were loose. I think what happened is it was on Dunwich and maybe even on two piles of Dunwich, some of that. And uh, when he hit the brake so hard, it came off. It, uh, it, it, the whole load moved forward and I think it came off of the dunnage and therefore all of his straps were loose and he even uh, cut a metal strap came right loose so if you look real closely on that video just before I end the clip you'll see the uh, metal black strip laying there on the, on the uh, asphalt there and that came off of his trailer and if you look at it real closely there was a bunch of pieces flying off of his trailer too and stuff like that so that could have been a dangerous situation where he could have I don't know what he could have jerked off a, a trailer axle or you know, many things could have happened he could have lost his load he you know if his traps all cut his pieces could have come right through the cab you know and that could have been a dangerous situation he could have killed himself doing that shit you know but hey 
that's the way it is sometimes and that's why I turned on my GoPro and I made sure I was going to have that on video if he was going to try something stupid like that and he sure did he did try but yeah we knew what he was up to so anyways it looks like it's starting to get real dark over there I think we might be getting slammed with some wind and rain here again it started getting pretty windy there earlier too so but anyways, we're going to continue cruising along here, enough of our yapping. Hope you enjoyed my vlog today. Here we go guys, we are now on the Ambassador Bridge on our way to Michigan. Well, we will be entering Michigan here right away anyways, we're not really on our way to Michigan, we're just traveling through Michigan, but, but yeah, we are just about to enter into Michigan, then we'll be in the United States of America. That's right. I figured, you know what, let's get it over with today. Get across the border. Maybe somewhere on the other side we'll find us a truck stop or rest area or something like that. Call it a day. We only have 1,500 kilometers to go. So that's only about a day and a half worth of driving. So uh, we don't really have to push it. But I figured, you know what, let's get across the border anyways, no matter what, let's just do it. Let's just do it, that's what I said. Let's get across and then that way we don't have to worry about that tomorrow. Crossing border, entering Michigan. There you heard it, now we're in Michigan. We're on top of the lake right now, or river, whatever you want to call it up here. Let's see if we have a long lineup for the border today. I kind of doubt it, but yeah, there's a few trucks there, but nothing major. That's good. That's the way I like it. Mind you, it is Friday evening, so there is not too much action going on on a Friday evening. Generally going south, in my opinion. I mean, there could be, but not too bad anyway, so... So yeah, let's get over there to the customs and then uh, we'll talk with you guys later. And just like that, we have made it across the border, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. It was a very easy border crossing today. Yes, indeed it was. Not a single question was asked. <laughs> I was a very surprised not even a good day or nothing like that only thing that he said is bye-bye that's the only thing he said <laughs> I gave him my paperwork and my fast card he handed me the fast card back and said bye-bye that's all he said <laughs> uh, you can't get it any easier ladies and gentlemen not gonna happen there it goes to show you some people always say it's hard to get across the border. Well, no, it ain't. <laughs> if you got a clean record like I do, you know, you've proven yourself over the time, over the years, that you know you don't do any illegal stuff. You don't have nothing to worry about. Continue on this right. road for 51 miles. That's the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in Michigan. Yeah. Now we're going to start looking for a place to park. <laughs> as quick as that, right? Yeah, well, we'll see anyways. I know of a Flying J down here, but over there you got to pay if you don't buy anything for $20 worth of stuff up in their place. So I'm not sure if I want to stay there because then I have to pay for parking. And don't really want to do that, so... I might just continue cruising along here a little bit further and maybe find me something else, right? We'll give it a shot anyways. So let's get on down the road and uh, see what happens, right? Alrighty guys, here we are now in Ohio, yeah! We are back on, uh, well, US 24. <laughs> yeah, it's the same way we've been cruising along here for the last couple of trips. Yes, indeed. We're starting to get very familiar with this trip now, or this road, I meant to say. Yeah, we'll be stopping at this Petro or Pilot or one of those trucks uh, stops again. If we can find a parking lot or parking spot there. 
I noticed the other day when I come in there that there's another small truck stop across the street and that one didn't seem to be nearly as full so if the Petro or Pilot is full I'm gonna go across the street and give that truck stop a try there because uh, I have never been out there and that Petro and Pilot seems to be really full all the time there so we're gonna give that a try if we can't get parking over there but yeah, nice sunshine still. It's about 7.23 Manitoba time right now, so... But yeah, just about at the end of the day. We got a little over 800 miles to go yet, I believe. Or we'll have when we stop here. Maybe about 820, something like that. So uh, we won't quite make it there tomorrow, but hey, that's alright. We might be able to get up early tomorrow and then uh, I might have to look at that and see how we can do it. Maybe, just maybe we can squeeze in a reset there on Sunday. We might just be able to do that. What I might be able to do is drive like 600 some miles tomorrow and then do a reset and then just get up early morning, uh, Sunday morning. I might have to look at that and see how close it would come, but I might be able to do it. If not, then we'll just drive the rest on Sunday. And we'll be there early on Sunday, I guess, somewhere. And waiting there for Monday morning to deliver, I suppose. But yeah, now we are going to stop here very shortly because there ain't too many truck stops uh, past this. There's another Loves there just as soon as you cross into Indiana, but loves they uh, not very big up even this one there it's, uh, it's a bigger one than most of them but not very big so I don't want to keep my hopes high to go over to that loves and try and find parking there because there's the only truck stop is there is, is love so up here at least we got three different ones so I have three different chances to find me a parking spot so so yeah Let's make her over there and uh, see what happens, right? Well, guys, we have come to the end of the day. Yes, indeed, we have. Of course, it's starting to get dark out here. But hey, guess what? We're getting ready to edit this video. And then uh, we'll try and upload it. For some odd reason, I'm able to uh, pick it up. Pick up the internet across the street from the... Uh, pilot over there so I'm using their Wi-Fi here actually so I figure you know what then I'm gonna render this video real quick here and then uh, hopefully we can uh, click on upload here overnight so it seems to be pretty good speed up there I don't know why it is when I'm over there at the pilot I don't seem to get the good internet but when I'm over here I guess their antenna is turned the wrong way or something like that but anyways yeah because last time I stopped in this area I was over there across the street at the pilot and I couldn't hardly even get the internet to work and here it works fine I'm up here at the petrol here now but yeah uh, we got 840 miles to go yet to our delivery so uh, I guess we'll uh, have our work cut out for us but hey that's all right we're done for today like I said we're gonna call it a day and we'll continue on tomorrow with our journey so I appreciate you guys watching me today and I just wanted to mention I have some links down there below in the description box of every single video. I also have all kinds of written stuff down there. So go ahead and check that out. I got all kinds of details on about my truck and stuff like that. So you know like sometimes we get new people on here and you guys ask me well what kind of truck is that or what kind of engine is that, how many horsepower and all that. It's all in the description below guys. Go check that out. We got all kinds of links. We got a link there to my website guys and we got links there to my twitter facebook instagram all that good stuff you know go check us out on uh, on my facebook page and all that good stuff you know go find us on there we would love to have you on board yeah we post all kinds of updates on there on a regular basis including my website i constantly update and that is up to date where we are going and my videos are seven days behind so don't forget to check the website every once in a while you know so that way you know where I'm heading and if you are from uh, Canada or the United States I might be coming through your area and if I am hit me up I might be able to meet up with you guys if you like that hey let me know so uh, with that being said 
Have a good one, everybody. We'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.